dead on arrival. Asu reacts as President Tinubu signs student loan bill into Nigeria. Professor Bolahan Bolarin, chairperson of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, chapter at the Federal University of Technology, MINA, has denounced President Bola Tinubu's signing of a student loan bill into law on Monday. The academic believes that the law is unworkable since the characteristics of Nigeria were not taken into account before passing the bill into law. The problem with Nigeria and similar projects, according to him, is that the the leadership seeks in to mimic what they see in other nations without taking into account what is available in Nigeria. He expressed concern that students who get loans may find it difficult to repay them due to the high unemployment rate among graduates and the pitiful minimum salary. Professor Bolarin said that ASU opposed the law from the start since the system is neither practicable nor sustainable and so dead on arrival. The problem in Nigeria is that we copy policies from other countries and want to replicate them in our country without taking into account the situation here, he remarked. Where are the jobs in Nigeria? The issue about this method is that as you repay the loan, another person has access to it. Say a student comes to Futsmina and remains for five years and the scheme provides one million per year, that means you will receive five million. What is the guarantee that you will be able to repay it? The current minimum salary is 30,000 Naira. Is it feasible? Well. What are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as I share what other people have to say about this. Stupid man. Instead of looking for ways to make it work, he condemned it. If it works in other countries, why can't we make it work here? Nigeria will work again by the grace of God. You are a naysayer, a professor for that matter, spewing ignorance in the public space. What is it that they never opposed? These were the same characters who opposed private universities and the open university. Today, they are the greatest beneficiaries of the same. Away with impossible professors, let's move Nigeria forward. Government is creating another school feeding and conditional cash transfer by this bill. They appropriate the money and Nigerians didn't see any school being fed, nor any poor person receive the cash transfer. The time they will try to demonstrate this for research purposes, it will be their children that will get the loan they know is not repayable. Another lutocratic war is signed. The worst people to borrow money to in this nation is the Yorubas. They borrow and never pay back. Sale to them on credit. You will not see them in your shop again. Meet them on the road and ask for the money. They will say their father died two days ago and they just returned the money from their mother's burial two weeks ago. These people and insults is five and six. Insulting everyone after they will say obedience is not respectful to the elders. How do you think it can work? Some universities fee per session is as high as four million naira. So you borrow 24 million naira for six year program. You spend one year in medical school and another one year for NYCS making eight years before you are eligible to start. How do you start? It is dead unless the government will just dash some students the money while others will not get it. You can't satisfy the world, especially Nigerians. Imagine people that have been clamoring for something like this 
since time immemorial so that we can at least close to Western world. If you send your children to school with this loan instead of looking for bulk cash, won't you be able to pray gradually? What's the work of guarantors or are you going to guarantee without proper survey? Just wait and see, yeah, yeah, prof, who we will start from somewhere not necessary, we'll practice it before. Asu should know that this is a gradual process. Some students are doing business. Asu should not discourage the policy. Another conduit pipe for siphoning money, watch out. Stop being a pessimist. Let us give it a trial. He does not believe in this country, but God will surprise him. This is what called armchair criticism. Nothing works in the dictionary. If you ask me, now who I go ask, just like subsidy is gone. Well, these people have all given their opinion on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on.